Here are some documents from the surgeries in Bromley and King's Hospital London. They confirm the disappearance of a large kidney stone under the influence of thermobalancing therapy enabled by Dr. Anna's therapeutic device. Document 1, dated October 1999, from a surgery in Bromley, which confirms that a patient, Simeon A, had a huge kidney stone, which, on an intravenous urogram, could even be considered as transitional cell tumours. Document 2, dated the 6th of March 2000. This verifies that the computed tomography has shown a large renal calculus, which, according to the opinion of the consultant urologist, may require surgical treatment. Document 3, dated the 23rd of March 2000. Consultant urologist states, Given the size of the stone, I imagine that the percutaneous fornephrostomy would be the best course of action. Document 4, dated May 2000. A report from the Department of Urology at King's Hospital states that big calculite is affecting most of the left pelvic and calyx. The urologist proposed that the patient may develop obstructive symptoms. However, he stated, we will see the patient again after an IVU in six months' time. The patient stated, all consultant urologists were insisting a surgical operation was needed, but he refused to undergo any surgery as he'd started wearing Dr. Allen's thermoelements device. The natural treatment worked slowly, but he'd already started to experience relief after only two to three weeks. Blood in his urine disappeared after three to four months. Then, on a few occasions over the next year and a half, he felt that small pieces of stone, like grains of sand, were being passed through his urine. After that time, he wore the device only at night. Though Semyon felt well in the beginning of 2003, he was invited to the Department of Urology at the King's Hospital, where after an intravenous urogram, consultants explained that kidney stones were still in his left kidney and insisted they be removed with minimal invasive surgery. Under pressure from urologists, Semyon agreed to have an operation, bearing in mind that it would be minimal invasive through the use of laparoscopic techniques. However, he was still worrying as it's known that even the small amount of damage to the kidney can lead to big health problems in the future. The doctors placed him on an operating table and sedated him. Against their expectations, a pre-op x-ray test revealed that the stones had dissolved and cancelled the operation. When Semyon awoke after general anaesthesia, he was wonderfully surprised to find out that his body was untouched. He realised that Dr. Allen's device for kidney care had done a great job and dissolved his large kidney stone naturally. He tried to explain to the doctors the magnificent effectiveness of Dr. Allen's thermoelements, but nobody listened as they were too busy preparing for other patients for surgery. Document 5, dated July 2003, from the GP. It states that the patient wanted to know the results of his treatment at King's, where he was due to have the stone removed, but his own self-treatment had helped him. So that's it one of Dr. Allen's amazing treatment records. Now it's for you to decide what to choose. Damaging lithotripsy or shockwave therapy, any type of even more damaging surgery or natural Dr. Allen's therapeutic device, which dissolves kidney stones naturally and is free from any side effects. Thanks for watching.